Hey guys, what's up? It's the boy who at seven. So, I'm not sure if I can call myself the best there is at what I do, but uh, what do you guys think? You're watching C3 XE. Berserker Rage. All right, everybody, welcome to another edition of C3 XE. I'm your host, Anthony East, and with me is ba -ba -ba -ba. Nick. Hey. And Brandon. What one? And today we are discussing a very big fan favorite character. Weapon X, Wolverine, Berserker Rage, motherfucker! Shink! Yep. <laughs> okay, great. That's good. We're very enthusiastic, Braden. Now we're going to go through the rules. And the rules are pretty simple. Number one, once a comic book is drafted by a specific character, you can never pick that issue again. So what I mean by that is, again, I love this example. The Silver Surfer episode, okay? If you were to pick Fantastic Four issue number 48, you can use that only that one time for that character if we were to do another Silver Surfer episode. However, if we were doing a Fantastic Four episode, you could totally bring back that issue and use it again for your argument. The second rule is you have to declare whether your book is for spec or for love. And rule number three, you will get not one, but two scores. One from me, I'll be picking the winner at the end of every episode based upon your arguments, and then one from you beautiful viewers out there in internet land. And uh, out of those two, we're gonna tally up all the points, find out at the very end of the series who is Highlander, because there can only be one. Except for in that episode where you gave us both points. Yeah, you know what, that was for the end of that, that one episode. Fun. Yeah. And. Uh, not the whole competition, but thank you. I appreciate your exact uh, exact numbers on this. <laughs> so if it's Highlander and I'm getting my ass handed to me pretty hard, can I like run into a comic book shop like Holy Ground? No, yeah, I'm gonna chop go. your f***ing head off. That's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so let's get things started. Ben, you're kicking this one off. You won the coin toss. Yeah, I won this one. Okay. I won this one. And here we go. So Brandon, what is your pick for Wolverine round? One. Okay, so I always feel ridiculous picking this book because it's one of the one of the hottest books on the planet and has been for quite a while. It's Hulk 181, first full appearance of Wolverine. Um, the whiskers. Yeah, exactly. And uh, it's a battle with uh, with the Hulk and its school, and everyone loves this book. They just reprinted a. Um, the facsimile edition a few weeks ago. So now, like again, I always get a little worried with those facsimile editions that you're going to see a bunch of scams popping up. So I think that even more than ever, this is a really highly sought after book in high grade. We're all anticipating who the next Wolverine in the MCU is going to be. It's, uh, this book is never going to get cold. Spec or love? Obviously spec. Okay. Nicholas, what is your first pick on Logan? My first pick is Wolverine Limited Series issue number one. Oh. This is the first limited run by Frank Miller and Chris Claremont. Yep, love me some Claremont. Yeah. He also did the ongoing. Yes, he did. And the best X-Men stories. Sorry, please continue. He did do the best X-Men stories. No, I love this one. Like, the cover is just fantastically beautiful. Now do you simple. love you? now now very, nice. very simple. Now do you point across. do you do you love your spec, or do you spec your love? Oh, I'm gonna go spec on this one. I have to. Got to. This Got one. To. This one's pretty much one of the iconic Wolverine covers. It's used on T-shirts, magnets, bar I've glasses. Seen, I've seen the True Believers version go for like ten bucks before, which yeah. is stupid. But I've heard. I've seen it. You know, we sold one not too long ago in one of our fundraiser boxes in, in the lots that we did. Um, and, uh, you know, for like, it was in a lot that was like 12 or 15 bucks. But, mo like, you probably, we could, in retrospect, we probably could have sold that book for like half of that by itself. Yeah. For a true believer's version. So, the, Nick, make, they're making the right choice for sure. Brandon, Wolverine, second pick. I'm going to keep going spec. I'll go uh, giant size number one. Ooh. Okay, that's a that's definitely a key issue. Yeah, it's great story. It's pretty OG. Yeah, it's pretty necessary. There's a lot of um, 
there's a lot of first appearances in this issue, so you're you're probably going to see this book pop up a lot over the competition. So I don't want to like ruin too many of that. You know, um, it's 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 Wolverine's first appearance as an X Man, you know, or an X X Men person. So yeah, um, not as X Man. He's not Nate Gray, um, but yeah, it, it's. Um, it's a great book. I really like the book. I like the story. This is one that I could totally do love on, but obviously it's giant size X-Men number one. So it is spec, sir. So a lot of respect happening thus far. Are you going to break the chain, Nicholas? So I'm going to take Marvel Comics presents volume one, number 79. And this was the first Weapon X controlled Logan. Oh, that's that red cover with the, with the where gear. he's got the gear on. Yeah, I had, you, that, I had that action figure. He's fighting a bear in that book. Beautiful cover. <laughs> Beautiful cover. Kind of haunting. I don't know if I should put it as a spec or a love because you know what? I love Wolverine like that. Just give me a pick. Spec of love, love, Nicholas. Love, 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 love. Loves me. Loves me some of that. Okay. I think that book is easier to find by far than anything else we've put on the list today. So yeah, that's. You're not giving me much to knock down here, no, but okay. I'm going to do it. What are you going to do? <laughs> what, are, what are you going to do with Brandon? Okay. What are you going to do? Uh, well, I did it with Giant Size X-Men, but uh, I'm also going <laughs> to do it with uh, first cameo appearance I'll go with of uh, Wolverine. That's 180, Hulk 180. Um, it's funny because when you look at what Marvel says is the first appearance of Wolverine, they say it's Hulk 180. So even though the hot book... The one that everyone wants, what the market dictates is the highest in value, is 181. 180 is that cameo appearance, and it's still worth quite a bit, needless to say. So again, I will do it on spec. I think that that is going to continue to uh, to jump up in value, needless to say. And uh, yeah, great book. So yeah, great book. We'll save it for the debate. Okay, Nicholas. Mm-hmm. How are you going to combat that argument? <sighs> well, this one I picked on love. And I'll tell you right off the bat. It's Kitty Pride and Wolverine number one. It's the hmm. buddy cop. It's the buddy cop mini series that we all wanted. Did we? Eh, I like those two. They are the buddy cop. Yin and Yang. They work, and they go to Japan, which is nice. Fair. Okay. Brandon. It's starting to rain outside. Yeah, a little bit. Um. Great for, for on-air silence. Sorry. Um, we should really define for future episodes like how much time we get for all these. Um, actually, you know what? We talked about the ongoing. I'm going to take uh, number one of that. Really? Black cover. Wolverine with his claws out. Looks baller. Mm-hmm. I'm going to take it on love because, you know, love me some, some well, black cover books in general, if you can get them in, you know, in a high grade then they're always, like, the sexiest books, like, period. 100%. And um, Claremont, an ongoing series with X-Men in that era. <laughs> what else do I need to say? Is not the most expensive book in the world? No. But it's a highly sought-after book because of that, the, the black cover being very easy to d- damage. And, uh, yeah, it's great. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Nick, wait, how are you going to beat that? I'm going to go Uncanny 141. Now, I love this cover. What cover is that? I'm this is the about. one where he's in the spotlight. Yeah, it's the Kitty Pride. Oh. Uh, and the, all, the, all, the, all the X's. They just yeah, 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 passed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So this is all the wanted posters behind Wolverine or Logan, where he's got the spotlight on him. And this is what pretty much started Days of Future Past. Mm-hmm. Also covered, this, also, this cover was also mimicked by a Star Wars run. I think it was an Obi-Wan Kenobi run, too, where it's just after Order 66 and Obi-Wan Kenobi is behind a whole bunch of wanted <laughs> posters. Gotta say, iconic cover, gonna put it for spec. Okay. Okay. I respect that. What's your, what's your number five on the Wolverine? I'm gonna stay on the same path I'm on. I'll take number 10 of the ongoing series that Claremont wrote. What I like about this book is technically it's the first time that uh, Sabretooth and uh, he have a showdown. The p- book is really weird. It's structured really interestingly 
uh, it picks up in medias res and it, it, it does a lot of time jumping. Um, it's also technically the first appearance of Silver Fox. Um, but what's cool about this book is, is that, uh, that tradition of once a year, which you assume, I believe that they finally did say it's his birthday, right? Every, like every, every year, year on his birthday, birthday they, they fight. Yeah. yeah. So, um, that starts here. And it has that that, <laughs> that final page, the, the the panel at the bottom. It's like you know, uh, you know, no one else can kill you, uh, especially not today. Yeah. You know, so uh, it's a great book, and uh, yeah, that's that's going to be on love because I don't think it's worth very much. Although it's a white cover, so getting it in a high grade, um, you know, without like rubs and color breaking smudge. Yeah, it's it's kind of hard, you know, like the. Uh, it's hard, you know. To find, hard to find one. In good but condition. it's but it, so yeah. But I'm gonna do it on love, just the same. I think it's it's a great book, and uh, and started a tradition that's important to Wolverine's lore and mythology. Okay. Okay, Nick, how uh, how are you gonna bring it home for you? I'm gonna bring it home with one with love, and it's ultimate. It is ultimate Wolverine versus Hulk number one. And it's the ultimate series. That, it's like a burnt orange cover, almost like the a, one. A, there's a couple different variants, but it's also it's like their faces going head to head with each other. Yeah, they're because they fought so many times. It's kind of hard to keep them straight. But, but like, I think I know I the one you're talking one because about. I just love the ultimate run. Yeah, I'm like I think I'm probably one of the only people around that. Oh, well, there's it. fun stuff in there. But like I just loved like the way how dark the characters were drawn. Almost it wasn't like that cartoony like pastel colors. They used dark hard colors. And it worked for especially to bring the tone of Hulk versus Wolverine out. It really popped. Like that's why I love that cover. Okay, loves me some ultimate. Right on. Uh, now we're uh, we're in the debate section. Nick, that was very good. Thank you. Very good. Thank you. I, but, I, I, mm-hmm. but I need you to do me a favor. Get the f- off. Are you sure it's me or it's not him? Because he picked first. I think I picked first. Well, yeah. then you get the f- off. <laughs> Maybe your sex tape. <laughs> <laughs> okay, old buddy, old pal. In two minutes, explain to me why Brandon is not going to win this debate. Ready? And Berserker Rage. Okay. So, there's a progression with mine. We get the first Claremont, Frank Miller, Wolverine storyline. The very first issue. Also a very wicked cover. Uh-huh. You got that like hairy beast of Wolverine just becking you inside to read him. Read the book. Just come on in. Read. Sure. But I mean, <laughs> if I had to pick, like, I picked five here. If I had to pick three, I got to go the first Wolverine. The Weapon X controlled one because that's just beautiful. It's a great cover. And also Uncanny 141. Like that Days of Future Past cover, that is still mimicked to this day. Half of these books I have are mimicked. They are used. They have pretty much used them on everything. You can't go to a t-shirt shop, a con, anywhere without seeing those images. The The iconography of my books stood the test of time. And the ones I put on spec, they still stood the test of time. The other ones, I picked them on love. Because you know what? I just loves me a good buddy cop with Kitty Pride and Wolverine, and I love the ultimate run. So there's not really much I can say knocked down, but realistically, it's like, yeah, my books to the test is time, as well as story wise, you bring the character back in, and it's great. And okay. I'm just going to leave her there. Okay. You still have uh, 30 seconds. Are you sure you want to add? Uh, just want to say hi, mom. Hi, everybody. Okay. All everybody back home watching this. How you doing? And uh, yeah, that's it. Okay, that's it for you. All right, thank get you. the f- out of here. Let me bring in the handsome man. All right. Okay, Henry Rollins. The uh, the court all wrapped up. I'm ready. Please explain to me, in your angriest tone, why you picked the best Logan issues. Berserker rage. Okay, so first off, I just want to point out to everyone: both Nick and I are wearing our Exploding Earth shirts. So it's red versus black today. You know, <laughs> just want to point that out. I thought that was really funny. Um, 
Look, I don't have to do a lot of knocking down in Nick's books. I, you know, there's some good stories in there, don't get me wrong. I think he's full of shit for the record with that Kitty Pride uh, Wolverine story. I think there's a lot of weirdness in that story. I think it makes anyone who's a sound reader uh, or really just a sound human being kind of awkward at times. So um, while it's an interesting piece and, and it does certainly encapsulate um, what you know their relationship can be, it isn't what their relationship is. And also her relationship, frankly, to Storm has always been more important to me. So I think that's null and void. I, you know, uh, that's literally a book that's like two characters that Claremont really likes to write. Like, that's what that is. You know what I mean? Um, also, I, I'm pretty sure I'm the only one that that, that picked a book, uh, you know, w with Len Wein's name in it, you know, the creator of Wolverine. So I think I should get it just based on that, that like, who cares what's, you know, in terms of his first solo book, it's like... I, the guy who created the characters on my list, you know, the guy who wrote two books on my list, uh, you know, and, and I think that should mean something. Also, I've got Giant Size X-Men, um, one of the most sought after books among fans, including yourself, sir, uh, including Nick. Um, I've bought and sold most of, of what's on Nick's list. And, uh, you know, when we're talking about dream collecting and what we're doing to buy and sell and, and get ahead so that we can get better books and cooler books for our collection, I don't think that Nick's um, picks embody the spirit of the show. Whereas when you look at my list, I have the heavy hitters. And then I also have... Ten seconds. An on, I have two ongoing books from a run that you can really dig in, sink your teeth into, and collect hard. And I've also got Wolverine fighting ninjas on my list, man. Like... On a cover. On a cover. Okay. But yeah. Well. Not knocking Nick's list, though, you know, I know that it's over, so I'll leave the screen now. But, like, if you guys have those books, I'm not knocking those books. We're just having fun here. But they're Time's fun. up. Yeah. Okay. But thank you for those little tidbits there. Thank that you, was swell. Sir. Just swell. And now it's time for my final thought. So my final thought for this round, I'm not going to lie. It's pretty easy. Brandon knocked it right out of the park. He has Wolverine. He has the cameo of Wolverine. He's got the full-on first issue. He's got the giant size X-Men. And I'm not ripping on Nick. I have nothing personal against Nick. What? At all. <laughs> but I will say, bro, Kitty Pride Wolverine number one. That's your argument? You had 30 seconds left? Brandon's argument embodied the whole the whole show. He had the message in there and everything. Boat missed. I'm sorry. If I could give two points, I would. But I can't. So he just gets one. Brandon gets one. The score is now three to two. So that's it. You can follow us on Instagram and Twitter at, at Exploding Earths. Don't forget to tell us what you think of the draft and who did the better book. Uh, for your chance to win one of five, five comic books book mystery mailers that i'm gonna go through myself i'm gonna pick some real nice things for some pretty sweet people out there my twitter is at anthony east and my instagram is at the only anthony east um feel free to tag me in all your picks and finds anything good that you see let me know i want to see it we can share we can argue and uh besides that you know hashtag abc always be collecting take care see you next time